Well, want to know where Mario Batali gets his taco fix or where Wolfgang Puck goes for sushi? Our first app this week has the answers. Michael Bancroft is here and Michael, the app is called Chef's Feed. It gets you access to top chef's local dining preferences and secrets. It certainly does, and this is the very first chef-powered app, so you know you're going to get a good recommendation. So this has all these news, tips, dish recommendations for restaurants in over 24 cities in North America from some of the best chefs around. So what more can you ask for? And you know it's going to be delicious. Absolutely, and I think that's what's making this app such a big hit is it's not anonymous restaurant recommendations and reviews. You know exactly the fact that you're getting this from a celebrity source. Absolutely, and there's also videos contained in the app, and also they're adding regularly uh, more uh, destinations, more restaurants all of the time. So I know this one's just going to blow up and just cover everywhere very soon. And again, who doesn't want to know where Wolfgang Puck goes to get sushi? <laughs> well, I do, and now I'm hungry, but that's okay. Up next, we're always finding new ways to share our photos and tell our stories. This next app will have you using taps, pics, and gifts to tell yours. It's called Tapestry Share Your Story. Michael, this seems like it would be a fun one to play around with. It certainly is very fun to play with and it's very intuitive. It's very easy to use so you don't have to be super tech savvy. And this is just a great way to tell a story. It's very easy to use. You've got tap uh, ability to uh, keep going and tell the story as you're reading. You can use GIF files. Uh, you've got your um, text. And so you can culminate all of these with photos, either that you've imported or you've taken within the app. You build your story within the app and then you can share it with your friends. And what have the reviews been like on this one? Is it gaining popularity? It seems like people really are enjoying this because it's just a different way to tell stories and share them with your friends. Um, and the, the other thing too is when you're writing this story, you've actually got control over um, how people go through it because it's that tap ability to go on to the next part of the story. So it's kind of nice to lead them through what you're trying to tell. Always fun to try new things. And finally for us this week, looking for a new fun game to challenge your friends with. This one combines word forming skill and card playing strategy. So appropriately, it's called Words and Cards. Michael, how does this one work? So imagine you've got Scrabble and poker, and then you put them together, and you've got this game. So it's super fun to play, um, and it's great with friends. You log in via Facebook, and then that way you can play with all of your friends that you have on Facebook uh, if you don't want to play with strangers. Um, and you make words, and then you gain cards from making the words and winning. And then those cards, you then play poker, and then basically you want to try and win the poker hand. And then that's how you're going to basically become the ultimate champion. So it's got something for everybody. Everybody. If you if you like playing those word games and if you like playing uh, poker and cards, you're all set. Sounds like the perfect mix. Chef's feed, tapestry, share your story, and words and cards. Thank you, Michael, for joining us. We appreciate your time. No problem. And that's a look at our top apps for this week. Remember, if you're looking for any more information on the apps we talked about, you can just head to our website, kitchener.ctvnews, to find out more. You can also watch past episodes of App Central on the same website.